So just as I did in the previous video, I'm now going to try and find uh, a form for SXX, and this could be very easily just uh, replace all the Xs with Ys to get SYY as well, in terms of summary statistics. Okay, so uh, with SXX, this was the sum from I's 1 to N of Xi take away X bar squared. And so just as I did in the previous video, I'm going to expand the brackets out. So we're going to have the sum from i is 1 to n of xi times xi, so xi squared. We're going to get take away two lots of xi times x bar. And I'm going to get plus x bar squared. I now want to split that up into three summations. So the sum from i is 1 to n of xi squared take away the sum from i is 1 to n of 2xi x bar plus the sum from i is 1 to n of x bar squared. Now, just as I did in the previous video, um, because x bar and y bar are just constant values, I'm going to factor them out of the summations. So this has to stay alone because it, the xi here is to do with uh, the i that's there. So I can't move that. So that's going to have to stay as it is. So the sum from i is 1 to n of xi squared. The 2 is a constant term, as is the x bar. So I can factor both of them out. So 2x bar times the sum from i is 1 to n of xi. And the x bar squared is just a constant term. So I'm going to factor that out and have x bar squared times the sum from i is 1 to n of 1. OK, so let's remind ourselves about what x bar actually is. So x bar is the sum from i is 1 to n of xi. So all of the x's, add them all together, divide by n. So... We've got the sum from i is 1 to n of xi squared. Then we've got 2 times that times the sum of xi from i is 1 to n. So I'm going to have 2 times by uh, the, x, the sum from i is 1 to n of xi times the sum from i is 1 to n of xi. So I've got that squared over n. So let's write that as 2 times the sum from i is 1 to n of xi. Now, that's squared, right? It's the whole thing squared, not just the xi. So don't get that con these two things confused, OK? So just to identify that is something like, um, so if let's, let's say the xi's, uh, let's say the sum of the xi's is 1 plus 2 plus 3, for example, then what that represents is 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. Okay, squaring each of the xi's and adding them all together. Whereas the sum of the xi's all squared is 1 plus 2 plus 3 all squared. So these two things here are different. Okay, they mean different things. So that was just for clarification there. And uh, we've got that divide by n as well, haven't we? So it's all over n. Then we've got x bar squared. So that's this squared. And the sum from i is 1 to n of 1 is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times. So that is equal to n. So I've got plus the sum from i, sorry, from i is 1 to n of xi. That's all squared. But I'm also squaring the denominator, so n squared. But I'm multiplying it by n. So that n and one of those n's cancel. And I just get left with that. So I've got two, of, I'm taking away two of them here. And I'm adding on one of them. So actually, I've just got minus 1 of them. So this is the sum 
from i is 1 to n of x i squared take away the sum from i is 1 to n of x i all squared divided by n. So that is SXX using summary statistics. So you've got the sum of x squared, you've got the sum of x, and you've got n. So you can use your summary statistics just to plug straight into that formula. So you can abbreviate SXX to the sum of x squared, take away the sum of x, all squared over n. And as I said at the beginning of this video, uh, you can do SYY and exactly the same thing, just replace all the x's with y's. So SYY is the sum of y squared, take away the sum of y, all squared, divided by n. So this is how we can get SXY in the previous video, and now SXX and SYY together in summary statistic form to find an alternative version for the product moment correlation coefficient.